So first of all, two to three trillion dollars a year, that seems like an extraordinary amount of money, almost an impossible amount of money. So what do the numbers tell us right now about the amount of money that's actually going into this sector from private capital players? We're talking about 700 million roughly right now, but the money is there, it exists. If you look at what is available uh, in the investment fund, sovereign wealth fund, there is a lot of money available. So the question is how to channel that money to this energy transition. And there are some ideas that we have. What, when we talk to the private sector, we, they tell us a few things. We need more guarantees to invest in emerging countries because the political risk and the commercial risk is high. So they want to deal with the FX risk, which is important in country, particularly when there is macroeconomic instability. So the third thing they're telling us is that we need predictability on, on, on the legal front, because often they want to make investments which have a long, 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 long return, long time return, and they want to have some certainty about uh, uh, the, the political situation. So these three issues are currently being discussed in what uh, uh, the president of the World Bank Group has, has, has put together, which is a private sector investment lab, which is uh, gathering 20 CEOs in the world, in the financial sector. And we're discussing all of these items to see how we can define and have specific measures to help them invest in this energy transition. One of the main challenges though is finding a return on those investments because ultimately it's not the role of private capital to solve the problems of the world. What they're looking for is an investment generation. So how do you also ensure that some of these uh, investments and the capital that's being deployed also has something back for that investor? Absolutely. One of the big conclusions of the report that generate that number, the report that we prepare with the International Energy Agency, is that we need blended finance. What does it mean, blended finance? It's a cheap money, it's a grant that you mix with, uh, the, with the, the money that has been raised from the capital market to reduce the cost, the risk, and deal with some investments that are made in developing countries. So the key to all this is to be able to bring that grant money and to link it to investment that are available and liquidity that, that is available. Where is this grant money coming from? It's coming from philanthropies, it's coming from governments, it's coming from institutions like the World Bank. But it's not enough. We need to increase the pot and ensure that we have it at scale so that we can move to the 700 million to the 2.8 billion a year.